Pisces, I'm Pam, and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for September 2014. This month I decided to go back to the Celtic Cross Tarot spread for you. And the first card that you have that shows up in your reading today, Pisces, you have Nine of Pentacles. And Nine of Pentacles is showing up right on top of you here. Um, which is what would be influencing you now is symbolizes financial stability, internal peace, blessings of the finer things in life, and mainly financial stability here. It's a very good card to start your reading with Pisces. That's good news. I'm glad for you. Um, let me hear why it's here. I feel like you've been exposed to disruption in your life from other people. And I hear like you've had to take it on the chin, like you've had a, you've taken a lot of guff from people around you. They feel like you owe them something, time, attention, money. I'm not, it's a variety of things. And I feel for some of you, you're really coming into a time where you have the time to really decide what it is you want to do. I feel for some of you, you're really going to rearrange um, what you're doing in your life. You're rearranging some things in your life. And it's odd. It comes up like for some of you, I feel like you're not really sure how many followers you're going to have. Like how many people are going to be for you or how many people are going to be against you. And I don't know what circumstance this is about uh, because it is a general reading. So it would apply to... Uh, different Pisces in different ways. See, I feel like for many of you, you're, you're being given by the spirit world the opportunity to grow and change. And I feel that for a lot of you, you've had some hardships that have befallen you uh, during the course of the past seven or eight months or seven or eight years, because I'm getting the seven, the eight. You do have the card. Now, the card that showed up in the center of Pisces, so that would be what's affecting you or influencing you now, whether it occurred before and it's still influencing you or what's on top of you at the moment. That's what that means to me. This card, which crosses over it in the center, you have new beginnings, ace of rods, new beginnings. This could be new enterprise, new business. Um, it could be also uh, this card can symbolize an inheritance. I feel for some of you, you're going to discover hidden talents that you never thought you had before. I feel that you're going to be giving a boost or a leg up to your status or your standing in the community. I feel for some of you, you're going to be viewed as a principal player. I have to say, though, Pisces, for some of you that have had some things that you've kept under wraps or under cover, uh, some of, for some of you, it could be secrets. For some of you, it could be actions or ideas that you've kept under cover or wraps. I feel that it comes out now. You, there's some exposure coming out here. And I feel that for many of you, it comes up like the truth will set you free. So for those of you that have had hidden talents that haven't been exposed yet that come out now, that sets you free. For some of you who have had secrets that you've kept hidden things from others and they come out now, that truth sets you free. Whatever it is that was that kept under wraps or undercover for you, Pisces, in whatever Pisces you are, this coming out sets you free. The next card you have in your reading, uh, Pisces, which is actually crowning your reading, I'm sorry, Pisces, don't get mad at me, but you have nine of swords crowning your reading. Now, in the crowning position, to me, that's a goal. Nobody would have nine of swords as a goal, but it is showing up here at the top of your reading. And this is grief, loss. It can be uh, if you're not well, if you're physically not feeling well, this could be grieving somebody that has passed. This could be grieving a an ending of a relationship. It can be heartache. Uh, it's despair. It's just a very despairing uh, feeling kind of card. I feel that you've needed some of the experiences that you've had to happen in your life 
for your soul advancement and soul growth and development. Now, hearing that does not make any suffering we go through on this physical plane any better or easier. But it's my understanding, I'm not claiming to be an expert here, but that it's my understanding that when we pass, um, our souls really benefit from the testing times that we've had to go through in this lifetime. And that this card is showing up here to show that you've gotten a lot of soul development and advancement and, gro and growth in this lifetime from the struggles that you've had to go through. For some of you, I feel that there's a divine ending or a parting of ways with someone you care about. This could be due to maybe there's been somebody in your life that's been suffering from an illness for a while and now they're passing away. Um, this could be for some of you, if you have an elderly relative that's, you know, uh, I mean elderly uh, passing away. This could be an ending of a relationship a, a, a long relationship you've had with somebody just because the relationship is ending. I feel whatever this is, it's been something that's going on in your life a long time. Whether the relationship you have with whoever this is has gone on a long time. Whatever the reason is of the parting is different for different Pisces. I feel that uh, you will feel rejuvenated and revived a year following this ending so that to me would indicate that you would be going through the, those of you that this would apply to would be going through a period of time of uh, transformation and healing that seems to be lasting up to a year that's not a negative thing um, there's some blessings it's like blessings in disguise connected here um, for some of you, I feel that you may have the feeling of being destroyed emotionally, like you've gone through some kind of uh, mental or emotional abuse. Um, and I feel that you've had to relinquish uh, some fears and give some things up to God. It really comes off like um, your heart really needs to be healed and mended. I feel that you've been going through this for quite a while, Pisces. I'm sorry to hear that for you. Um, but I do see better things coming here. Some You've got some good things coming here in your cards. The next card you have in your reading today, Pisces, is showing up in a past position, is Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune is coming up in the position of the past. And the Wheel of Fortune to me symbolizes the karmic wheels of fate turning in your life. Uh, that the planets in the heavens and the spirit guides around you are conspiring to uh, bring you what you want and need in your life, uh, to give you good fortune. I'm hearing for many of you Pisces that this card shows up to give you a sigh of relief because you're finally getting some closure. And I feel for some of you, you do want to be partnered up with someone new. And it, it's odd. I, I feel bad because I, I'm hearing that it comes up that some of you kind of feel like you've lost your way or you're not sure who you are anymore. Uh, I feel like very jangled up, like there's been a lot of things jangling your world and making you uh, very confused. And I feel for some of you, you're going to be talking to some doctors or some specialists. And I feel that you're going to be putting some things right. Um, and also getting your finances in order comes up here. Some of you are going to be generating some income for your family through a family business. And I feel for some of you uh, Pisces that are older that have your children working for you in your family business, you're going to be asked to take a step back and take more of a back seat and let them lead and run the show. And I feel that you are willing to do that. I don't feel that you are, you know, insulted, offended, or don't want to see it happen. And I feel that there's a lot of growth and a financial, financial abundance coming to you 
Um, and th through that business, I feel that whatever this family business is, those Pisces that are going to, this is going to make sense to, I feel that that business is going to really be stepping up and doing very well. Um, if any of you own a furniture business, that furniture is coming by my head. Um, like, and whatever kind of store or operation you own or are part of in this family business, I feel like there's growth there where there's going to be more businesses, more buildings. If you have, uh, if you have vehicles or trucks associated, vans or trucks associated with the business, I feel more of those are coming into the picture here. And I feel that in January, there's some conclusions here. Some deals that have been made or some things that have been struck in the past get broken. So some deals or things get broken uh, in the month of January. And it's weird. I get yet with those breaks, with those cuts, financial abundance comes in. It's not like you lose financially. You actually gain financially from that. Um, the next card you have that shows up in your reading today, Pisces, is an excellent card. It's very good. I'm happy for you. You have the Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups is one of the best emotional relationship cards you can get. Two of Cups and Ten of Cups. Well, you've got ten here. And to me, I like to call this card the American Dream. It's like the happy family, the happy home, the happy husband, the happy wife, the happy children full of emotions, abundance of, you know, everything going along swimmingly. Um, and you have that shows up in the position of what you're traveling through right now and what, what you're passing through. For some of you, you've hit a high point at your life. You're at like a pinnacle of success right now. I feel that marriage proposals are in the air. So if some of you have been putting off doing that, I feel that you will be doing it. You're going to have an emotionally and sexually fulfilling life, especially in the latter part of your life. So for you Pisces out there that are, you know, maybe past the age of 45, uh, I feel like you're going to really have a great uh, romance in your life and happy emotional fulfillment there. And that I, I feel that many of you are going to be creating the life that you always wanted to have. Because I feel some of you moving and living in a location where I feel like, wow, it looks so great. Like uh, I see palm trees and crystal clear water and uh, like it looks very tropical, but it could also be, you know, there's many parts in the world that have uh, white sandy beaches and clear blue water and palm trees. I don't know where exactly this applies for you, um, but I just feel like you're going to, for some of you, you really enter a very serene uh, time of your life. And for some of you Pisces, I do feel that you're getting ready to get a great gift of cash. For any of you that have somebody in your family that's passing away, I feel that this is coming through an inheritance or that you're getting it through, uh, if it's not that, I feel like you very likely could be getting some money through family channels of some family member giving you money. It comes up like, you paradise awaits, they're saying, paradise awaits. There's a lot of joy and happiness that follows this transition. You're going to be feeling at ease with yourself and your life and that, uh, you know, now you can let go of some things that have been harmful to you or hurt you. I feel that for you Pisces, there's a lot of shifting and changing of prominent people coming in and out of your life. Like you're going to be developing new relationships and new friendships. And there's been people that in your life that have put you down or let you down or kept you back or held you back that you are going to be letting go it's not that you won't be having the you know never talking to the get to them again but i just don't feel like they're going to play any kind of prominence in your life and i feel that for many of you you're going to be walking away from some of these people and situations and some of them have harbored a lot of grief and resentment against you 
And I feel that for many of you, you're going to feel like there has been too much talking, like too much gossiping and talking and yakety yak going on. And I get that you're like just done with it and tired of it. Um, the next card you have that shows up in your reading today, Pisces, is in a future position and you have three of cups. And three of cups to me is a celebration. This could be attending parties, gatherings, or celebrations. This can also be a happy conclusion to something that's been going on in your life. I hear you have a lot of attraction and pull right now. Um, so you have a lot of people that are looking at you, seeing you, uh, being attracted to you, wanting to talk to you, wanting to meet you. You come through a time where now you feel like you're very vibrant, alive, and awake, like you've woken up. This gives you the uh, feeling of like you want to delve deeper into your soul. So I feel that many of you are going to be turning to like spirituality. Also, advanced courses and studies come up. I feel that some of you are going to be talking to professors and educators, uh, language, languages uh, come up, like language, things involving language, literature, studies, like even uh, European studies. It just comes up so strong as a great time for education. I just get like for some of you Pisces, I, I'm kind of surprised uh, because some of the cards sounded sad. Um, that you're going to be like living the high life now, like riding high, like, like feeling good about your life, like finally free and clear, like into the, in the clear. Um, that's a good feeling. And that's in a future, slightly future position. So for those of you Pisces that don't feel that yet, uh, or are not seeing the glimpse of it yet, it is showing up here in a future position. I hear that some of you are going to have some decisions that you have to make about how you're going to allocate some money and that you're going to be putting it to good use towards education, some of you property uh, investments, real estate. I definitely feel like the finances in your life do seem to be taking an upturn and for the better. And for some of you Pisces, I feel that you may be paying for education for someone in your family, some schooling, that you would be buying somebody a car as well. And I feel that this does take a toll on your finances, but for some reason it comes up, you're really being financially blessed, uh, that you recoup it pretty quickly and easily. Now, Pisces, I'm sorry, don't get mad at me. I'm sorry, I don't like this card. The next card you have that comes up in your reading is in a fear position. And it's in the future, but you have Ten of Swords. And I really hate this card for you. I'm so sorry, Pisces, but the other cards you have after it are good. So let me preface it by saying that. Um, Ten of Swords is a card that symbolizes backstabbing, betrayal. Um, it could be somebody passing away in your life that, you know, you know, a prominent person in your life that's passed away uh, and, you, you know, already before and now you're feeling like the grief of that. It could symbolize that. But it's more or less, I see this card come up the most when it's betrayal and um, like backstabbed and betrayed. That's how this usually comes up. I feel that for some of you, you're going to be communicating with somebody from your past that you feel they destroyed your heart. But I feel that you are not right in some things that you said or did to them. I feel like you need to be like spiritually cleansed in order to deal with this issue. And I'm not really sure what that means. See, I, it comes up when I try to see why. Like you need to settle or clear some things in your mind and maybe go back or try to rectify some things in your past like setting the record straight, you know, setting things right, like, you know, doing the right thing. And it, it, it comes up like there's some unhappiness here with this situation that keeps circling around you. And until it gets put to rest or set to right, 
it, it's kind of hard for you to move on because it's always going to be lingering in your mind. Like you're going to be going around and around about it comes up. I, cause I hear like they've harbored judgments and, uh, against you and you also against them. And there's a lot of hurt that goes around on both sides of the story all the way around. I, I hear that you are going to be giving this issue credence and it's just due. Like it, like you need to face it, deal with it, look at it. And so that's what they meant about spiritual cleansing. So I hope I cleared that up if there was any question in that. Okay, Pisces, the next card you have that shows up here in your reading today, uh, and this could often shows up in a family opinion position, um, you have the chariot. And the chariot to me is a card that symbolizes having to make a choice, a decision or a choice. I hear for some of you Pisces, you really feel abused, like you've been battered up, abused, taken advantage of, mistreated. I feel that for some of you, you're really unhappy inside and that you've never really gotten over some kind of circumstance or situation that's occurred to you in the past or someone in the past. For those of you that are um, thinking about changing your job or doing something different within your job or changing your career, I get that it looks like you're going to be studying something new. And I feel that this offer to attend some kind of class or be part of something pops up like just pops up unexpectedly. You're going to be talking to somebody where you hear it through other channels, like somebody you know, or you're going to overhear. I either hear somebody talks to you about it directly, or you're hearing two people, overhear two people talking about it at nearby, and that this gives you the idea that, hey, what what's that all about? And then you kind of talk to them or listen in and then get involved in, in this. And I feel that for some of you, communications are involved in whatever this is you're going to study. I feel it's a, it's a shame. I feel some of you Pisces uh, don't feel worthy of, like, you feel unsure about yourself or your talents. And for some reason that you feel like either a little unsecure or unworthy. There's a lot going on in your mind right now but you need to channel that out and put it to good use. For some of you, I feel that you are going to be giving some courses of study or teaching somebody or some people something that you know. So it's weird. For some of you Pisces, I feel you're going to get, hear of something new coming up and you want to get involved in it, that's some kind of course of study or education or classes. And then I feel there's the other Pisces that are going to be giving some courses or education or classes, but it comes up like it's either way here. You know, and they're saying, don't take anything for granted in life. It's a, life is a precious gift. And, and they're saying, you know, like now you come to realize how valuable uh, the time is here on this earth. And I feel like over the course of the next nine months to a year, you're going to be doing a lot of shifting, changing, developing, and growing. And I, I do feel that for many of you, you do have to try to step out beyond that comfort zone and take that leap. It's like a great opportunity rises up like the phoenix out of the ashes and presents itself to you. And you're going to be talking to some people. Um, that are going to be very influential in your life that are going to help you to make dra dramatic steps. There's going to be a great time of financial abundance for you, especially next spring. And I feel that uh, some things that are going to be out of, out of your control in your life are actually going to work to your advantage because I feel like they are... These situations are going to be taking your life leaps and bounds forward, but their circumstances like out of your control, like you didn't generate them. You, you did, but you didn't. You were like at the right place at the right time kind of scenario. The next position in your reading is the hope position. 
and you have the Queen of Cups. And now this very well could be you if you're a Pisces female listening to this reading because the Queen of Cups symbolizes a water sign female, either being Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, this woman is very empathic and in tune with other people's emotions and feelings. She is ruled by and um, her emotions and her feelings are ruled by the cycles of the moon and also the tides. For some of you Pisces females, I get that you're going to school and studying something and taking tests comes up. I feel you studying very hard and looking at textbooks and computer screens and studying. This would actually be something that I feel would maybe even be advertised on TV because I'm seeing a commercial. So bye. It's almost like there's almost like little or nothing you can do wrong right now or coming up for you in your future because I really feel like you have divine uh, blessings completely in your corner. For some of you, this Queen of Cups is somebody that's a water sign female that has generated some problems for you in your past uh, or in your life. And I feel that she doesn't show up like she's the right woman for you or didn't turn or she didn't turn out to be the right woman for you. There's a feeling of loneliness or abandonment here and loss and regret on both sides because I feel that she couldn't be the woman that you wanted her to be or needed her to be. And I feel like she's feeling, uh, I don't know if she feels exactly the same way, but she kind of feels left off or forgotten. That's how she comes up. So for some of you Pisces, that message is going to make sense. Um, there's some real grieving and loss here connected with her. Either she's grieving... Uh, I feel like she's doing the grieving and the loss. It, it, it's really happening on both sides, but for each of you, it's for different reasons and different things. For some of you, I feel that you may know a female, um, water sign female that's had some issues or problems with drinking. And I feel that the month of May, especially like around the 17th, or 18th of that, between the 16th and the 19th of the month of May is very significant because she may need to go seek help or treatment uh, for maybe some kind of addictive problem, possibly drinking. But this, see, this is like whoever this Queen of Cups is, she's different for all you different Pisces. Um, I feel like she wants to be a solid citizen. And I feel that there's a lot of loss and regret about how her life has turned out. This, this Queen of Cups. And I feel like she's going through changes and some upheavals. As there's been some financial problems for her. She's created some of these problems and drama herself, however, because she hasn't really been fully stable or grounded. So each of you Pisces need to think over that, that that's not going to make sense for some of you because some of the Pisces uh, for some of you, this female is somebody that's a water sign that's studying, learning, educate, getting education, and taking a lot of tests and going under that kind of stress. For some of you, it's been a love relationship that you've parted ways and there's like loss and regret on both sides uh, of those kind of feelings. For some of you, Pisces, it's the other female where she's been having whoever this Queen of Cups is, she's had trouble with drinking and wants to be a solid citizen, hasn't really been stable or grounded and could possibly going into rehab or having some issues, something comes up significant for her between the uh, 16th and the 19th or 16th and 18th of the month of May. So it all depends on who she is and which Pisces you are, but she showed up in your reading. Uh, for some of you, this very well could be your daughter. Um, well, Pisces, to move on to your final card in your outcome of your reading today, you have the Eight of Rods. And the Eight of Rods, to me, symbolizes news coming to you very quickly. This can be over the computer. Um, this can be through email. It could be coming to you somehow through communications. News comes to you quickly. 
see, I, I get this as now it's time to take action steps about moving forward. I feel that you're going to be given a chance to demonstrate your abilities and your gifts, no matter what they are, if it's communication or if it's talents in writing or how, how you perform the duties at your job. I just get uh, this is really uh, a time for you to take action steps. And when you do so, this is going to come across whatever line of work you're in, that's going to be very pleasing and well received by others. And you're going to be talked to about being given an opportunity or a leg up or a gift of some sort. Like you're getting like a, a, a gift, but it's an opportunity that's presenting itself to you. This is something that you've needed to have happen for a long time. And this opportunity, it may come at you very fast. And so the decisions you're going to have to make in regard to it, they're saying you make quickly. I don't know whether you have to make them quickly or not, but I do feel you are going to make them quickly. Any stumbling block or any occurrence that comes up that looks like a stumbling block and stands in your way, um, I feel like you're going to, you know, uh, step around it like it's there may be something that comes up like someone or something that tries to once you're set in motion that tries to derail you but I don't feel that it will succeed I feel like for many of you your dreams are really going to come true now like at last that you're really going to make your mark in the world that people are really going to see you and recognize you and I get that communications for you are going to be at an all-time high. And you're going to be really moving and shaking and rocking and rolling, talking to people and really getting out there into the world and making a difference with whatever you're doing, however you're say, whatever you're saying. Pisces have a lot going on uh, all across the boards right now. But the key here. I feel is uh, to resolve issues or troubles from the past, to try to resolve them, to clear yourself spiritually, and then move forward. You're coming into a great time of fun, uh, livelihood fun. Your sexuality is going to be really high. Your appeal to others, um, your attractability is going to be excessively high. And I feel that you're really going to be uh, being seen and heard. So I'm happy for you, Pisces. That's great news for you. You deserve it. Um, I hope this reading was of some help for you for this month of September 2014. And I want to say thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing and watching my videos. I appreciate that very much. And I want to also say thank you to the nice Pisces I've had the pleasure of doing uh, private readings for and connecting with you. And for those of you Pisces that I've not spoken to yet that would like to have a private reading with me, I have my link posted below. If you go to my order page on my website, I have the instructions there of how you can schedule your reading and make your payment on that order page. And I will call you for the reading unless you live outside the United States. Then I do those readings via Skype or you would call me for your reading if you don't have Skype. I hope you have a great rest of your month of September, Pisces. And know that I wish you many blessings and peace.